to Sound Bites Academy. Let's talk about mental health. Hey, how are you feeling today? To be honest, I've been struggling with anxiety lately. Hey, how are you feeling today? To be honest, I've been struggling with anxiety lately. Hey, how are you feeling today? To be honest, I've been struggling with anxiety lately. Hey, how are you feeling today? To be honest, I've been struggling with anxiety lately. It's okay not to be okay sometimes. Have you considered talking to a therapist about your feelings? It's okay not to be okay sometimes. Have you considered talking to a therapist about your feelings? It's okay not to be okay sometimes. Have you considered talking to a therapist about your feelings? It's okay not to be okay sometimes. Have you considered talking to a therapist about your feelings? I've been feeling a bit down lately. Do you have any tips on how to improve my mood? I've been feeling a bit down lately. Do you have any tips on how to improve my mood? I've been feeling a bit down lately. Do you have any tips on how to improve my mood? I've been feeling a bit down lately. Do you have any tips on how to improve my mood? I heard that meditation can be helpful for managing stress and anxiety. Have you tried it before? I heard that meditation can be helpful for managing stress and anxiety. Have you tried it before? I heard that meditation can be helpful for managing stress and anxiety. Have you tried it before? I heard that meditation can be helpful for managing stress and anxiety. Have you tried it before? It's important to take care of yourself both physically and mentally. Have you been getting enough sleep and exercise? It's important to take care of yourself both physically and mentally. Have you been getting enough sleep and exercise? It's important to take care of yourself both physically and mentally. Have you been getting enough sleep and exercise? It's important to take care of yourself both physically and mentally. Have you been getting enough sleep and exercise? Have you noticed any changes in your eating habits lately? Sometimes stress and anxiety can affect our appetite. Have you noticed any changes in your eating habits lately? Sometimes stress and anxiety can affect our appetite. Have you noticed any changes in your eating habits lately? Sometimes stress and anxiety can affect our appetite. Have you noticed any changes in your eating habits lately? Sometimes stress and anxiety can affect our appetite. It's okay to take a mental health day if you need it. Have you talked to your supervisor about it? It's okay to take a mental health day if you need it. Have you talked to your supervisor about it? It's okay to take a mental health day if you need it. Have you talked to your supervisor about it? It's okay to take a mental health day if you need it. Have you talked to your supervisor about it? 
Have you tried any relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing or progressive muscle relaxation? Have you tried any relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing or progressive muscle relaxation? Have you tried any relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing or progressive muscle relaxation? Have you tried any relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing or progressive muscle relaxation? It can be difficult to open up about mental health struggles, but remember that you're not alone. It can be difficult to open up about mental health struggles, but remember that you're not alone. It can be difficult to open up about mental health struggles, but remember that you're not alone. It can be difficult to open up about mental health struggles, but remember that you're not alone. Have you considered attending a support group for people with similar experiences? Have you considered attending a support group for people with similar experiences? Have you considered attending a support group for people with similar experiences? Have you considered attending a support group for people with similar experiences? How do you usually cope with stress? I like to take a walk outside or read a book to unwind. How do you usually cope with stress? I like to take a walk outside or read a book to unwind. How do you usually cope with stress? I like to take a walk outside or read a book to unwind. How do you usually cope with stress? I like to take a walk outside or read a book to unwind. It's important to prioritize self-care, especially during stressful times. Have you made time for yourself today? It's important to prioritize self-care, especially during stressful times. Have you made time for yourself today? It's important to prioritize self-care, especially during stressful times. Have you made time for yourself today? It's important to prioritize self-care, especially during stressful times. Have you made time for yourself today? Remember that mental health is just as important as physical health. Don't be afraid to seek help if you need it. Remember that mental health is just as important as physical health. Don't be afraid to seek help if you need it. Remember that mental health is just as important as physical health. Don't be afraid to seek help if you need it. Remember that mental health is just as important as physical health. Don't be afraid to seek help if you need it. Have you talked to your doctor about any medication options for managing your symptoms? Have you talked to your doctor about any medication options for managing your symptoms? Have you talked to your doctor about any medication options for managing your symptoms? Have you talked to your doctor about any medication options for managing your symptoms? Sometimes talking to a trusted friend or family member can help alleviate stress and anxiety. Sometimes talking to a trusted friend or family member can help alleviate stress and anxiety. Sometimes talking to a trusted friend or family member can help alleviate stress and anxiety. 
Sometimes talking to a trusted friend or family member can help alleviate stress and anxiety. Have you tried journaling as a way to process your thoughts and feelings? Have you tried journaling as a way to process your thoughts and feelings? Have you tried journaling as a way to process your thoughts and feelings? Have you tried journaling as a way to process your thoughts and feelings? Remember that it's okay to set boundaries and say no if you're feeling overwhelmed. Remember that it's okay to set boundaries and say no if you're feeling overwhelmed. Remember that it's okay to set boundaries and say no if you're feeling overwhelmed. Remember that it's okay to set boundaries and say no if you're feeling overwhelmed. How have you been sleeping lately? Poor sleep quality can have a negative impact on our mental health. How have you been sleeping lately? Poor sleep quality can have a negative impact on our mental health. How have you been sleeping lately? Poor sleep quality can have a negative impact on our mental health. How have you been sleeping lately? Poor sleep quality can have a negative impact on our mental health. Have you tried practicing gratitude as a way to shift your mindset to a more positive one? Have you tried practicing gratitude as a way to shift your mindset to a more positive one? Have you tried practicing gratitude as a way to shift your mindset to a more positive one? Have you tried practicing gratitude as a way to shift your mindset to a more positive one? It's important to practice self-compassion and not be too hard on ourselves during difficult times. It's important to practice self-compassion and not be too hard on ourselves during difficult times. It's important to practice self-compassion and not be too hard on ourselves during difficult times. It's important to practice self-compassion and not be too hard on ourselves during difficult times. Have you tried incorporating mindfulness practices into your daily routine? Have you tried incorporating mindfulness practices into your daily routine? Have you tried incorporating mindfulness practices into your daily routine? Have you tried incorporating mindfulness practices into your daily routine? It can be helpful to identify triggers that contribute to our mental health struggles and find ways to avoid them. It can be helpful to identify triggers that contribute to our mental health struggles and find ways to avoid them. It can be helpful to identify triggers that contribute to our mental health struggles and find ways to avoid them. It can be helpful to identify triggers that contribute to our mental health struggles and find ways to avoid them. How are you feeling about starting therapy? Remember that it's a brave and important step towards healing. How are you feeling about starting therapy? Remember that it's a brave and important step towards healing. How are you feeling about starting therapy? Remember that it's a brave and important step towards healing. How are you feeling about starting therapy? Remember that it's a brave and important step towards healing. 
Have you tried exercise as a way to improve your mood and reduce stress? Have you tried exercise as a way to improve your mood and reduce stress? Have you tried exercise as a way to improve your mood and reduce stress? Have you tried exercise as a way to improve your mood and reduce stress? It's okay to take a break from social media and other sources of stress if they're causing more harm than good. It's okay to take a break from social media and other sources of stress if they're causing more harm than good. It's okay to take a break from social media and other sources of stress if they're causing more harm than good. It's okay to take a break from social media and other sources of stress if they're causing more harm than good. Have you considered trying cognitive behavioral therapy to help manage negative thought patterns? Have you considered trying cognitive behavioral therapy to help manage negative thought patterns? Have you considered trying cognitive behavioral therapy to help manage negative thought patterns? Have you considered trying cognitive behavioral therapy to help manage negative thought patterns? Remember that recovery is not a linear process, and it's okay to have setbacks along the way. Remember that recovery is not a linear process, and it's okay to have setbacks along the way. Remember that recovery is not a linear process, and it's okay to have setbacks along the way. Remember that recovery is not a linear process, and it's okay to have setbacks along the way. It can be helpful to practice mindfulness when it comes to eating, such as paying attention to hunger and fullness cues. It can be helpful to practice mindfulness when it comes to eating, such as paying attention to hunger and fullness cues. It can be helpful to practice mindfulness when it comes to eating, such as paying attention to hunger and fullness cues. It can be helpful to practice mindfulness when it comes to eating, such as paying attention to hunger and fullness cues. Have you tried relaxation techniques before bed to improve the quality of your sleep? Have you tried relaxation techniques before bed to improve the quality of your sleep? Have you tried relaxation techniques before bed to improve the quality of your sleep? Have you tried relaxation techniques before bed to improve the quality of your sleep? It's important to remember that there's no shame in seeking help for mental health struggles. It's important to remember that there's no shame in seeking help for mental health struggles. It's important to remember that there's no shame in seeking help for mental health struggles. It's important to remember that there's no shame in seeking help for mental health struggles. Have you tried talking to your employer about making accommodations to support your mental health in the workplace? Have you tried talking to your employer about making accommodations to support your mental health in the workplace? Have you tried talking to your employer about making accommodations to support your mental health in the workplace? Have you tried talking to your employer about making accommodations to support your mental health in the workplace?
It's okay to take a break from work or school if you're feeling overwhelmed and need some time to prioritize self-care. It's okay to take a break from work or school if you're feeling overwhelmed and need some time to prioritize self-care. It's okay to take a break from work or school if you're feeling overwhelmed and need some time to prioritize self-care. It's okay to take a break from work or school if you're feeling overwhelmed and need some time to prioritize self-care. Have you tried setting small goals for yourself each day to feel a sense of accomplishment and progress? Have you tried setting small goals for yourself each day to feel a sense of accomplishment and progress? Have you tried setting small goals for yourself each day to feel a sense of accomplishment and progress? Have you tried setting small goals for yourself each day to feel a sense of accomplishment and progress? Remember that recovery is a journey, not a destination, and it's okay to take things one day at a time. Remember that recovery is a journey, not a destination, and it's okay to take things one day at a time. Remember that recovery is a journey, not a destination, and it's okay to take things one day at a time. Remember that recovery is a journey, not a destination, and it's okay to take things one day at a time. It can be helpful to practice self-compassion and talk to ourselves as we would a supportive friend. It can be helpful to practice self-compassion and talk to ourselves as we would a supportive friend. It can be helpful to practice self-compassion and talk to ourselves as we would a supportive friend. It can be helpful to practice self-compassion and talk to ourselves as we would a supportive friend. Have you tried reaching out to a crisis hotline if you're feeling in crisis or need immediate support? Have you tried reaching out to a crisis hotline if you're feeling in crisis or need immediate support? Have you tried reaching out to a crisis hotline if you're feeling in crisis or need immediate support? Have you tried reaching out to a crisis hotline if you're feeling in crisis or need immediate support? It's important to remember that mental health struggles can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender, or background. It's important to remember that mental health struggles can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender, or background. It's important to remember that mental health struggles can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender, or background. It's important to remember that mental health struggles can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender, or background. Have you considered trying relaxation techniques like yoga or tai chi to help manage stress and anxiety? Have you considered trying relaxation techniques like yoga or tai chi to help manage stress and anxiety? Have you considered trying relaxation techniques like yoga or tai chi to help manage stress and anxiety? Have you considered trying relaxation techniques like yoga or tai chi to help manage stress and anxiety? Remember that it's important to surround ourselves with supportive and understanding people who can help us through difficult times. Remember that it's important to surround ourselves with supportive and understanding people who can help us through difficult times.
Remember that it's important to surround ourselves with supportive and understanding people who can help us through difficult times. Remember that it's important to surround ourselves with supportive and understanding people who can help us through difficult times. Have you tried using positive affirmations or mantras to shift your mindset to a more positive one? Have you tried using positive affirmations or mantras to shift your mindset to a more positive one? Have you tried using positive affirmations or mantras to shift your mindset to a more positive one? Have you tried using positive affirmations or mantras to shift your mindset to a more positive one? It can be helpful to identify and challenge negative thought patterns that contribute to our mental health struggles. It can be helpful to identify and challenge negative thought patterns that contribute to our mental health struggles. It can be helpful to identify and challenge negative thought patterns that contribute to our mental health struggles. It can be helpful to identify and challenge negative thought patterns that contribute to our mental health struggles. Remember that self-care looks different for everyone, so it's important to find what works best for you. Remember that self-care looks different for everyone, so it's important to find what works best for you. Remember that self-care looks different for everyone, so it's important to find what works best for you. Remember that self-care looks different for everyone, so it's important to find what works best for you. Have you tried talking to a trusted religious or spiritual leader about your mental health struggles? Have you tried talking to a trusted religious or spiritual leader about your mental health struggles? Have you tried talking to a trusted religious or spiritual leader about your mental health struggles? Have you tried talking to a trusted religious or spiritual leader about your mental health struggles? It's important to prioritize self-compassion and self-care even on days when we don't feel motivated or productive. It's important to prioritize self-compassion and self-care even on days when we don't feel motivated or productive. It's important to prioritize self-compassion and self-care even on days when we don't feel motivated or productive. It's important to prioritize self-compassion and self-care even on days when we don't feel motivated or productive. Remember that it's okay to ask for help and support when we need it, and seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Remember that it's okay to ask for help and support when we need it, and seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Remember that it's okay to ask for help and support when we need it, and seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Remember that it's okay to ask for help and support when we need it, and seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment below if you found any content challenging and share your thoughts with other learners. Subscribe, like, and share this video to support us and stay up to date on new courses. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.